Hello, greetings from Boonri. Today's topic is taken from the history of the Wright brothers. Two brothers whose names are famous for being pioneers in aviation. What is their story? Watch ahead. Who were the Wright brothers? They were the ones who achieved the first powered and controlled airplane flight. Yes, it was their idea. What were their names and where were they from? The older brother was named Wilbur Wright and the younger brother was Orville Wright. They both were Americans. Wilbur was born on April 16, 1867 and his younger brother Orville was born on August 19, 1871. Their father had brought them a model small helicopter to play with. It was a simple toy with rubber band to twirl its blades and both the boys were fascinated by the toy and its mechanics. Wilbur was a bright and studious child and excelled in school. But later in life, an incident changed his life. During an ice hockey game, Wilbur was badly injured when another player's stick hit him in the face. Although most of his injuries healed later, but because of this, he went into depression for a few years and that's why he did not go to college. Wilbur spent much of the time at home reading books. His brother Orville was never especially interested in studies. He was more interested in hobbies outside the classroom and especially flying kites. As years passed by, in 1892, when Wilbur was 25 years old, he and Orville opened a bike shop, fixing bicycles and also manufacturing and selling their own designs. It happened so once that the boys read the news of a German aviator named Otto Lilienthal. Lilienthal died in a glider crash. And that's when the brothers decided to start their own experiments with flight. Without any high schooling or college degree, how would they execute their idea of flying an airplane? Watch ahead. Wilbur and Orville set to work trying to figure out how to design wings for flight. After much thoughts, they observed that the birds angled their wings for balance and control. And this sparked their idea to emulate this. After multiple rigorous attempts, the brothers finally met success when on 17 December 1903 they succeeded in flying the first free controlled flight. Wilbur flew the plane for 59 seconds over a distance of 852 feet an extraordinary achievement. For the first time in history an airplane had demonstrated power and sustained flight under the complete control of the pilot. Wow! But that was not all. This was just the beginning of problems for the Wright brothers. What problems? Take a look. When the news about the success of the Wright brothers started spreading, at first, they didn't receive a positive response from all. Many people doubted and were not able to believe the Wright brothers' claims of success. Why? The reason was because many other aviation pioneers around the globe 
with much higher skill struggled to make their own controlled flights even after repeated attempts these brothers achieving such a huge success was not digestible to many some aviators in fact even used the right patent attaching their own names to it building credit and fame to themselves in reality it was the right brothers efforts that was a milestone in flying a controlled and powered flight but was crusaded by many with this began all the court trials with many coming up against the right brothers claiming their innovation and these legal battles continued for long hence wilbur disturbed by all these interruptions just gave up flying in the year after 1909 wilbur began concentrating only on business and legal activities against rival aviation builders exhausted from his efforts and battling typhoid fever wilbur died in 1912 after him orville assumed the leadership of the right company with time passing by even orville passed away that was the end of both the brothers what is the essence behind me sharing the story of right brothers It's not just the bookish knowledge that will take you to great heights rather the skill aim and determination to do something big is what will help you soar higher success therefore it's really your skill and experience that matters leaning only upon knowledge is not enough you need skill and expertise